Hey DreamHive community, good to see you. My name is Galen. Welcome back to Art by Galen. And today I've got six awesome Photoshop tips for you. Some of these tips you may already know, some of them you may not. Let me know in the comments if you found these useful. Also, please let me know if you think I missed some tips that you think others might find useful as well. Tip number one. I think this one's pretty common. A lot of us digital artists do this on a regular basis. Do you draw on the wrong layer a lot? Lock the layer. You can select the layer in the layer tab, go up to the little icons above the layers and click the lock. And then when you try to draw on that layer, it won't let you, keeping you only able to draw on the layer that you want to draw on. Tip number two, do you have a lot of layers that you don't want to merge, but you need them to stay together if you move them around? Select all of the layers by clicking on them while holding the control key. Click the link icon down at the bottom. Bam, now you can move them all together. Tip number three, have you got a layer where you achieved the perfect level of opacity and you want to change the colors? You can lock the transparency of that layer. Two different ways you can do it. One, you can click the little icon up above. While the layer is selected, it will lock the pixels and the transparency in place. You can draw on them as your heart desires without messing it up. Another way is using a clipping mask, create a new layer above the layer, hold the Alt key and click the line between the two layers. The layer above will only be able to draw over the layer below it. Tip number four, have you got a brush tool that you wanna use as an eraser, but you can't? Some tools in Photoshop are specifically built for a single task. If it's built for a brush and you wanna use it as an eraser, go up to the top where it says mode and select clear. Now you can erase with that brush. Tip number five, if you're working on a complicated piece and you've got lots of layers and lots of groups of layers, here's an easy way to keep them organized without having to sort through groups. Convert your group to a smart object. Right click on the group, select convert to smart object. Double click on the icon in the layer to open up the smart object and you'll be able to edit the layers there. Make the changes you need, save it, and go back to your original file with the changes made. That way you can keep it organized. And tip number six, do you find yourself working ultra zoomed in and you wanna be able to see your painting at its original size or even smaller, create a new window for the piece. Click on window, go to new window, and that creates a second one of the same image. Now click on window again, go to arrange and tile all vertically. Now you can take one and zoom it out to the size you wanna be able to see it from a distance, and you can have your zoomed in window as well. This way you can work on close up details, but also see the overall effect immediately. I wanna take a moment to thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope these tips help you out with your workflow. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave those in the comments. Also a quick shout out to my patrons over on my Art by Galen Patreon and my Elucid Patreon. Thank you guys so much. Your support is incredible. It means the world to me. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And until next time, keep creating and take care.